Welcome back to Rock and Roll All Night. In this video, I will be doing a track-by-track -track review of Ace Frehley's latest album, Origins Volume 2, that was released a few days ago on September 18th. This is one of my favorite Ace albums of the last 10 years. Yes, it's a covers album. And sure, I would like a new studio album by Ace, but any KISS fan will tell you, Ace is no stranger to doing covers. Actually, some of my favorite Ace songs are covers. For example, New York Groove and 2000 Man are covers. Origins Volume 2 is Ace's second in a series of cover albums, whereon Ace pays tribute to music that inspired him to pick up the guitar in the first place and influence his music style. On this album, he covers songs from some of the greatest rock bands of all time. For example, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, The Stones, Deep Purple, Hendrix, and Cream, just to name a few. And as a bonus track, Ace covers the Kiss classic, She. Ace recruited some celebrity guest musicians and vocalists to join him on this album, John Five, Lita Ford, Robin Zander, and Bruce Kulick. I personally like Ace's cover albums, some of the songs he covers I have never heard or never really paid any attention to. And so to me, they are new. So it's like getting some new Ace material. For the majority of the tracks, I did know them. And these are cool to listen to too because Ace puts his own spin on them. And I enjoy hearing versions of songs I know and love, but with Ace Frehley's flavor on them. For example, Mountains Never In My Life. I know Mountain. I love their song, Mississippi Queen. And Leslie West is a great guitarist, but I have not listened to a majority of their music. Never In My Life is brand new to me. Same with 30 Days In The Hole by Humble Pie. I couldn't name you any Humble Pie songs. So again, this song is like a new Ace song to me. I've never heard it before, so it's like new material from Ace, which is pretty cool. And for the songs I do know and love, like Lola and Jumpin' Jack Flash, it's fun for me to hear Ace's spin on them. And also, now I'm getting interested in these other bands, like Humble Pie, like Cream, and Mountain, that I wasn't paying any attention to before. So now I'm getting to looking at their tracks and seeing why he was inspired by them and listening to some of their songs, and I'm getting... Um, new music i'm getting into some new music that i've never listened to before so for me a covers album uh, is a win-win okay so before i get started on a track by track review i want to mention a few points ace sings lead vocals on all but three songs alex salzman plays bass on almost every track and he co-produced the album with ace matt Starr plays drums on every track except she the drums on She are played by Paul Simmons. Ace's girlfriend, Lara Cove, sings backing vocals on Lola and Good Times, Bad Times. Rob Sabino plays organ on Space Trucking. Okay, so here's my track by track review. Origins Volume 2 blasts off with track one, Good Times, Bad Times, originally by Led Zeppelin. Ace is on vocals and on guitar. Jeremy Asbrook is on guitar. Alex Salzman is on bass. Matt Starr on drums and Lara Cove on backup vocals. Ace's vocals on this track are classic Ace. His mix of singing and talking the lyrics is what I like in an Ace Freely song. He did not disappoint. I especially like his vocals and his voice style when he does the part I know what it means to be alone. I sure do I wish I was at home. I know what it means to be alone. I sure do wish I was at home. Ace's guitar playing is great on this track. I'm going to put this out there right now, right out of the gate. Ace is not a world-class vocalist. I get that. He says that but I still like it. His style is a combo of singing and talking lyrics with his Bronx attitude. And I like his style. And I think he did a good job on this track. Track number two, 
Never in My Life, originally performed by Mountain. On this track, we have Ace on vocals and guitar, Alex Salzman on bass, and Matt Starr on drums. I really like this. I didn't know this song before, and now I'm cranking it up. And the opening riff is great. Ace's vocals are, again, just what I like about Ace's singing, talking Bronx accent style. Ace's guitars are killer as usual on this track, and on the rest of the album for that matter. As I listen to the song, I hear a little bit of Mississippi Queen in parts. Matt Starr's drums are great on every track. This is one of my favorites on the album. Track three, Space Truckin', originally by Deep Purple. On this track, we have Ace on vocals and guitar and bass. Rob Sabino on organ and Matt Starr on drums. Now, I was never a Deep Purple fan. Sure, I like Smoke on the Water and Black Knight, but beyond that, I don't know any other Deep Purple songs, and when I first heard Ace's Space Truckin', I didn't like it. However, after hearing a bunch of times over the past couple of days, it has grown on me and now is one of my favorite tracks on the CD. The music is phenomenal. The guitar solo is killer. The vocals are just what I want in an Ace vocal, and I love the Aceisms that Ace adds to this song. For example, Space Ace Truckin', Hey Curly, his laugh at the end, and he mentions Jendel. Hey, Curly! Space Ace Truckin'! Hey, where's Jendel? <laughs> and I think the space theme of this song is perfect for Ace. Track four, I'm Down, originally by the Beatles. On this track, Ace, vocals and guitar, John Five, guitar, Alex Salzman on bass, and Matt Starr on drums. Unfortunately, this is the, my least favorite track on the album. I was really uh, hoping to like Ace doing a Beatles cover, uh, but I don't like this one. And it's not because the singing or the music is bad. It's not that, uh, because it's not bad. The vocals are fine. The guitars of Ace and John Five are great. The drums are great. Bass is on point, but I just don't like the song. I, it's really the chorus that I don't like. And there is a little auto-tune um, sound to Ace's voice that I didn't like. And it's not prevalent throughout the whole song, but there's one or two spots that I heard it and it sounds weird. So great job by everyone in this song, on this song, but I just don't like this style of song. So for me, I put it at 12 out of 12. Number five, Jumpin' Jack Flash, originally by the Rolling Stones. Lita Ford on vocals, Ace Frehley guitar, bass, and back vocals, and Matt Starr on drums. This is one of my favorites on the CD. Lita Ford really belts it out. I like her vocals on this. It's like a rough, tough, crass with style. Um, very cool. Ace's guitar playing is killer. I like this track. But uh, if I have one complaint about it, my one complaint would be that the vocals seem to be a bit turned down. I wish they were a little louder. It's, uh, it's almost, it's not drowned out by the music, but it's, um, it's not as loud as I would like it to be. Track six, Politician, originally by Cream. On this track, there's Ace on vocals and guitar, John Five on guitar, Alex Salzman on bass, and Matt Starr on drums. Now, I've never heard this song before. I was not a fan of Cream. And sure, I know Sunshine of Your Love and White Room, but that's the extent of it. At first listen, I didn't like it, but after listening to it a few times, it's one of my favorites on the CD. The guitars on this song by Ace and John Five are amazing, and the guitar solo is both by Ace and John Five simultaneously, and then cross-fading back and forth, left to right and right to left.
I recommend listening to this one with headphones on. For more about this guitar solo, check out my interview with Alex Salzman, where we discuss this. It's on my page. Seven, Lola, originally by the Kinks. On this track, we have Ace on guitar and vocals, Alex Salzman on bass, Matt Starr on drums, and Laura Cove on backing vocals. This is one of my favorites on the CD. I love this song by the Kinks, and Ace's cover is, to me, in my opinion, right up there with the original. I like that Ace says Coca-Cola and not Cherry Cola. The Kinks originally wrote it as Coca-Cola, but it was changed to satisfy the record company at the time on the single release. So I'm glad Ace stayed to the original lyrics. Okay, for me, his vocals sound weird a little bit, too deep on the Coca-Cola part. But other than that, I like the vocal and I really like the parts where Ace and his girlfriend, Lara, sing together. <laughs> She did, I think she did a heck of a job. And the sound of their voices together, I, I really like that. Number eight, 30 Days in the Hole, originally by Humble Pie. On this track, we have Ace Brewley on guitars, Robin Zander on vocals, Alex Salzman on bass, Matt Starr on drums. This one is in, top, is one, in the top three on the CD for me. I actually like this one more than the original. Ace's version is more, uh, sounds more full to me. The music on the original sounds a little empty. The drums are louder and full. The guitars are crunchier and the backing vocals are way better. The original, uh, it was a little high pitch to me. And Robin Zander, formerly of Cheap Trick, his lead vocals are just awesome. His voice hits the same flavor of the original, but in my opinion, better. Ace's choice for Robin Zander to sing this one was spot on. Robin nailed it, then he crushed it. Definitely a top three for me on this CD. Number nine, Manic Depression, originally by Jimi Hendrix. On this track, Ace's vocals and guitars, Alex Salzman's on bass, Bruce Kulick on guitars, and Matt Starr on drums. Okay, this one is second to last for me. Out of the 12 tracks, I put it all the way at 11. Not because it's musically bad or vocally bad or anything like that. Ace's vocals are fine. The guitars are great. Bruce Kulick puts his signature sound um, on this track. And the guitar solo is great. But I just don't like the song. Never heard it before. And now that I have, I just don't like it. Number 10, Kicks, originally by Paul Revere and the Raiders. On this track, we have Ace, Ace on vocals and guitar, Alex Salzman bass and guitar, Matt Starr on drums. So uh, the first time I heard this song was when Richie Scarlett covered it on his, uh, in his album, Out of My Past. I'm not familiar with the original. Ace's version is good. Vocals are fine, guitar's good, drums good, bass good. I just am not a fan of this song. I like Ace's version better than Richie's. Alex Salzman plays acoustic guitar in this track, so listen for that. This song is probably 10 out of 12 for me, third from the bottom. Track 11, We Gotta Get Out of This Place, originally by The Animals. On this track, we have Ace on vocals and guitar and bass, Matt Starr on drums. Okay, this one is fourth from the bottom for me. And that is based not on any bad singing or musicianship. I like the song, just there's, uh, you know, better songs on the CD. So um, I can't put this one above those. Ace, Ace's vocals are good. The guitars 
and bass are good, drums as well. One thing I do like is that it's cool that it's only ace on this with Matt. Ace plays guitars, bass, and sings. So I do like that. It's pretty much an Ace Freely song, except for the drums. Track 12, She, originally by Kiss. On this track, Ace on guitars, Ryan Cook guitars and vocals, Jeremy Asbrock guitars and vocals, Philip Schuess bass and vocals, and Paul Simmons on drums. I like this one. I love this song, and this is a killer version. It's heavier, crunchier, darker. <laughs> I love it. This version has a fuller sound. Do I like it more than the original? No, but almost as much. And that's saying a lot because I really like the song She. I also like that this is the Ace Freely band. Well, almost. I mean, there's no Matt Starr, but everybody else, I mean, it's close enough. It's almost his, his touring band. I hope that these guys play more of a role on Ace's next studio album. So that's my track by track review. So I just want to um, rank the songs. Um, so here's my ranking um, one through 12, one being the best, uh, my favorite and 12 being least favorite. So let's start off with 12. I'm down. 11, Manic Depression. 10, Kicks. Nine, we got to get out of this place. Eight, politician. Seven, she. Six, space trucking. Five, never in my life. Four, 30 days in the hole. Three, good times, bad times. Two, jumping jack flash. And at number one, Lola. Well, that's my review. I hope, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it um, and found it informative. Um, I recommend going picking up this CD. Uh, I think it's very good and definitely worth it. All right, thank you for stopping in.